Do you know how to upload or update your resume in LinkedIn? In this episode, we're going to show you how. Make sure you stick around until the end when we discuss some caveats about putting your whole resume on LinkedIn. Hey guys, I'm Mary Schaefer, founder of AP Now, the place where you go for the latest business intelligence and best practices related to the accounts payable and payments function. Today, we're going to talk about something related your career and your resume on LinkedIn. So let's say you want to put your resume on LinkedIn. The first thing that you need to have is your resume document. And that document needs to be in a format that LinkedIn will accept. It's pretty simple. It needs to be in a doc format, DOC, a doc X, so point DOC or point DOC X or PDF, and then you can upload it. It also must be on the computer that you're using to access LinkedIn so that when you finally get to the point where you can hit that upload button, you can access it. Okay, so step one, you get your resume in the right format, you're happy with it. Step two is pretty simple, log into your LinkedIn account. If you don't have one, you probably want to establish one. And if you do, don't forget to start building your network by linking to other people that you know in your field. And also keep in mind that everyone can see what you upload. So don't put anything up there that might not reflect well on you. Don't make any comments that might not reflect well on you. Potential employers will check out your LinkedIn profile and your resume before contacting you. So you don't want to put yourself out of the running before you've even had a chance to put your best foot forward. Okay, so now you're logged into your LinkedIn account. You want to look across the top on the right to that little icon that either says me or it has your username on it. And you want to just simply click on it. When you click on it, you will get a drop down menu and you want to click on the thing that says settings and privacy. Okay, settings and privacy. Once you've done that, a page will appear and you want to go to the left hand column now and scroll down to the part that says data and privacy and then select job seeking preferences. Okay, once you're there in the middle of the page, there'll be several listings and you want to click on the one that says job application settings. Okay, all of this, when you see it, it, you know, it makes a lot of sense, but until you do see it, it can be a little distracting. Okay, so you're now at job application settings, and now you want to find the upload button on that page and upload resume. And you want to click on it, obviously, and you want to upload your resume. At this point, I want to point out, you'll be given the opportunity to save self id information such as gender and race that you can submit with job applications you can choose to delete it if you wish or you can choose to leave it that you know the choice is up to you now before we get to the caveats as well as info on updating or deleting your resume i'd like to invite you to hit the subscribe button it's free completely private and you can unsubscribe at any time if you're watching this on youtube you can subscribe with a gmail account and please hit the bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when we post new content which we do three times a week Tuesdays and Thursdays, we tend to have accounts payable and payments related information, business intelligence related to those functions. Occasionally, like we have today, we have some career -y stuff. And on Saturday, I post about my newest obsession, Wordle. So hopefully you'll join us for some of those episodes. So now let's keep something in mind. There are some caveats when um, using these services. If you tweak your resume for each job that you apply to, and I know many people do that, you'll not be able to use the online LinkedIn version unless you update it every time. And to update it every time, you're gonna to have to delete the old one, update it, upload it again, okay, and that can take a lot. This can be tedious, especially if you don't remember which version you had up there or which version you gave to which potential employee, okay? If you want to remove it or update it, you simply take it down and then upload the new version. How do you delete it? Follow the steps above, and when you get to the upload step, you'll notice three dots next to the upload button. Click on the dots and hit delete. 
But before you delete it, you might want to make sure that you have a copy of that resume. And if you don't, then hit the download button and download it and save it. Because if you don't, that resume will be gone forever. So a lot of good stuff on LinkedIn. A few months ago, we had Brenda Bernstein, author of Creating a Killer LinkedIn Profile. You might want to watch that now. There's a link to it down below in the show notes. And on YouTube, a link will appear momentarily. As always, greatly appreciate your thumbs up, your shares, your comments. 